I'm Diane, the shelter manager for the dogs at um, Save the Animals Foundation, Cincinnati, Ohio. And we run a no-kill shelter, which means that if we cannot find loving homes for our animals, we keep them forever. And um, this is one of the guys that we are desperately looking for a home for. His name is Boston. He's a handsome gentleman, about 95 pounds. He came to us in January this year. Um, he was a stray in a rural part of Kentucky, and rather than have him taken to a kill shelter, um, some rescuers in, uh, in Kentucky asked if we could take him in, and we did. Uh, he does have a cataract in his right eye. He's about six years old, six, six and a half years old now. Delightful gentleman, loves to lie around in the yard, not do very much. We're trying to pair him up with some female friends. He doesn't seem to want any male friends, but we're having some luck trying to uh, get him to hang around in the yards with a, a female dog. So this is Boston. He would make a wonderful companion. He's, he's huge, as you can see, 95 pounds, big guy. He's strong, um, but that's all he wants. He wants a home, he wants a fireplace, he wants a good yard, and he wants someone to love it. This little wiggle bottom is Lovejoy. Lovejoy is a puppy, obviously. She's about, um, she's about four and a half months old now. She's 16 to 18 weeks, somewhere in there. And she came to us as a real hardship case. Um, she was turned into a kill shelter in uh, Gallipolis, Ohio. And um, when she was turned in, she had an open wound that went from the back of her neck, wide open, all the way down to about here. And um, she has one little tiny scar that's left right here. But what had happened is that apparently she had been attacked by animals. We're not sure if it was wild animals or other dogs, but somebody just turned her into a kill shelter to die. Um, and a transporter from that part of the state called staff and said, this little pup's going to die. It's going to require a lot of surgery, a lot of vet care. And can you help? So we said, of course. And um, so the vet up there, they took her into a vet there first. And he got rid of all the maggots that were, she was full of them. Cut away some of the dead skin, wrapped her up, gave her antibiotics. She came to our vet and she spent nearly two weeks at our vet recovering. And as I, by the time she came to staff, she had a, a wound that was about this big down her back. And we continued to keep her bandaged and um, clean her wounds up. And now, this little pup pup's completely healed with one tiny scar on her back that will be permanent. She is, a, she's just a fabulous, fabulous public relations puppy. She draws a crowd. She's a good little girl. She plays with other dogs. She's just a little love bug, and I believe she's going to the vet next week to get spayed. So then she'll be all grown up. So this is Lovejoy, and we gave her that name <laughs> in the hope that she would get love and plenty joy at staff. Hi, I am Carla, and I'm a volunteer at staff, and my husband and I are fostering Wrigley here. Um, Wrigley, we believe, is a uh, young, probably nine months old or so, uh, husky mix. And about uh, five weeks ago, he was a stray. He was found in a roadside ditch in rural Kentucky. The local shelter uh, listed him, but no owner stepped forward, so, uh, and they didn't have resources to treat his injuries. He had a broken leg and some minor pelvic fractures. So he came up to staff for medical care. And uh, as soon as he left the veterinary hospital, uh, he came to my house to be my foster dog. And he is a, an absolute love of a dog. Uh, very, very affectionate, love to be with people. And he uh, has a few more weeks of recuperation to go before he's fully healed. But as you can see, he's healing beautifully. Um, this is the leg that was injured. And he's already walking on it very well. He wants to play, so Wrigley loves to be with people. Uh, he loves to um, be outside and enjoy the fresh air and sunshine with us sitting on the front porch or in the yard. Um, he will probably love to play once he's fully healthy and his activity restrictions are lifted. He seems like he wants to play with other dogs and uh, wants to play with his toys and treats there. And we just think he's the most gorgeous dog. Um, he's husky mixed with uh, we don't know what. But the fact that he has one blue eye and one brown eye is an uh, indication that he's 
probably got some husky in him. 